A study was conducted to measure the effectiveness of hypnotism in reducing pain. The measurements are in centimeters on a pain scale before and after hypnosis. Assume that the paired sample data are simple random samples and that the differences have a distribution that is approximately normal. Perform a hypothesis test to determine if hypnosis appears to be effective in reducing pain. In this example, mu d is the mean value of the differences d for the population of all pairs of data, where each individual difference d is defined as the difference in the measurements in centimeters on the pain scale before and after hypnosis. In going through the four steps setting up the hypothesis test, first we write the word claim, and the claim is that hypnosis is effective in reducing pain. That means that the pain measurements before will be greater than the pain measurements after. Therefore, the difference of before minus after would have to be positive or greater than zero if indeed hypnosis is effective in reducing pain. So our claim is that mu d is greater than zero. The second step is to write the opposite of the claim. Mu d is less than or equal to zero. Identifying the null hypothesis, we look for the equal sign so that the opposite of the claim is the null hypothesis which means that our claim is the alternative hypothesis. We'll do this problem using the TI-83 and going to the list, stat enter, we'll put the before pain measurements in list one and the after pain measurements in list two. We are interested in the mean value of the differences D for the population. So we will look at the differences for this set of data. And to find those differences, we'll go to list three, use the up arrow to go to the title of list three, and formulate list three as list one, second L1, minus second L2, list two. And when we hit enter, the calculator formulates the list of differences for our sample. Now returning to the home screen, second quit, and then going to the stat tests menu, since our differences are in one list, we'll be using the t-test number two. The data is in the form of a data list. The mu subscript zero refers to the number in the null hypothesis, and that number is the number zero. The list containing our data is list one. The frequency is one, and the direction of the inequality sign found in the alternative hypothesis is the greater than symbol. And we go to calculate, we'll be calculating the p-value. We see here that the p-value is equal to, since the p-value is low, we know that we will reject the null hypothesis, which means that the claim that there is some benefit to the relief of pain using hypnosis is supported. Another way of approaching this problem is to construct a 95 confidence interval estimate for the mean of the before and after differences and see if this interval supports the decision made with the hypothesis test. Since we use the t-test for this hypothesis test, the corresponding interval will be the t-interval. Going to the stat test menu, and scrolling down to number eight, we select the T interval. The input again is in the form of a data list. List one with frequency one, we'll use a 95% confidence interval estimate. And when we hit enter, we see that the interval estimate of the difference of the before minus the after is between approximately 0.9 and 3.3. Since the differences were taken using before minus after. This means that the before numbers were in fact larger, which means that the pain before hypnosis was greater, and therefore this interval does indeed support the decision made using the hypothesis test.